now at five, we are tracking Tropical Storm Josephine. The newly named system is the earliest J-named storm on record. Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer is live with the new advisory. Craig. Yeah, and we're not expecting much, if any, effects uh, from Josephine here in South Florida. In fact, it may stay out at sea its whole life. The, the only thing that's of note of this record now, the earliest J storm, is the last time uh, we set that record. The records that we've been breaking lately were from 2005. And if you were in South Florida in 2005, you know that was a very, very busy year and a bad year for South Florida as well. Hopefully that's not going to be the case this busy season. The center located about 865 miles east southeast of the northern Leeward Islands. There winds at 45 miles an hour moving to the west northwest at 16. Here's the threat cone. You can see the area of tropical storm conditions in the yellow area there. Now forecast to pass to the north of the Leeward Islands. Of course, folks in the islands should keep an eye on the system, but right now no preparation is needed as it looks like the center and the tropical storm conditions will pass well to the north of the islands. And then the good news is, is after that, here we are in South Florida and it makes a turn to the north very, very far to our east. So we'll keep our eyes on it, as we always do with any type of tropical system in this part of the Atlantic, but we're feeling very, very good about it here in South Florida. Here's the way it's looked through the day to day, a little bit better organized, more of a round system, not as sheared, but it is headed for more shear. That's why it's not expected to last uh, a lot longer. I'll have details on that and our local forecast coming up.